Hi all, my name is Christina Pulver. I'm Director of Recruiting here at Forza One Volleyball and I'm very excited to be on a little Zoom call with Emma Rhodes today. Hey Emma. Hi. Hi. Hey, why don't you start off by uh, just telling us uh, what team you play on at Forza, your year, your position, and any other little stats just to start us off. Um, I am Emma Rhodes. I play on our 17 UA at Forza One South and I am an outside right side. I'd also like to add you're a six rotation player. Yeah, I have a six rotation outside right side hitter. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Great. And so really the idea around recording this call today is to help college coaches get to know you more. Um, I think that's the biggest, one of the biggest challenges right now, especially for the younger kids, um, is how do we help the college coaches know us as, as people, what we do outside of volleyball. Um, they know you're a good volleyball player, but uh, let's get to know the Emma. So just to start, what are you doing right now with this whole, how are you doing with confinement? Well, we have like a schedule going on. So I do like school for the first like portion of like eight through 12 like AM area. And then after I take a little break and then I'll like make some lunch or something. And then I work out and do my chores and socialize with my family. So having a schedule definitely helps. Yeah. Yes. Because if I didn't, I'd be all over the place, like doing things randomly. But I feel like with a schedule, I'm more organized and I feel like more calm. Yeah. With doing everything. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I know you mentioned uh, that you got to go on a camping trip a few yeah. weeks back with your family. So tell us, tell us some more of the th things you do with your family. Um, we like to go on group walks a lot just to like get out and talk to each other because it's like really refreshing to get out and we, we get to see all these neighbors that we've never seen before because everybody <laughs> else wants to get out <laughs> and like walk their dogs and we just like to like people watch. We like to go camping too. Like it's just like a family area. We like nature and we like to cook together a lot, which is fun because we're all foodies, but we're just trying to like incorporate different things during this quarantine. Like I love seafood, so I'm learning how to cook seafood type thing. So it's like a lot of fun. Who all lives with you at your house? Uh, my mom, my dad, and my sister is home from college right now. So she's here with us also. Did she play sports? Mm -mm. She, she goes to STSU and she is, she's like, mm, she's an engineering person. So she's working on cars and then, She's working for like JPL and has an interview with like SpaceX. So she's like the academic -y, <laughs> brainy person of the family. Awesome. So I think, uh, and probably the college coaches that are gonna be watching this as well, we all know what, how awesome you are at social media. So tell us a little bit about how, how you spend your time on social media right now, when it, specifically when it comes to trying to search for your future college. Um. For social media right now, I just try to look through old film and see like which ones like stand out because my phone reset, so I don't have like any of my film anymore. So I have to go through like Periscope or like Hut like Huddle just to, like see what I can post and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like trying to like improvise and like adapt with what I have. Okay, no, that works. And then so I what I noticed is you also follow a lot of colleges. And you're really good at, um, you know, liking the different things. But what I want to ask you is, what are some things that colleges can do for you on social media when you're, so to help you narrow down your search? Mm, just like, it's easier to like narrow it down when I know like who has interest and stuff. So like, depending if they like follow me back or like, like my posts and stuff, it's like a good indicator to see like which ones I should maybe be focusing on. Yeah, no, that's good. I noticed that I think we're all like being challenged right now to get more creative on social media. Um, and so I think I've been noticing a lot of them doing more interviewing, um, posting more virtual tours. And so I think that's going to be, you know, key for you to continue to get to know your college. So speaking of colleges, what, what are you looking for in a college? Um, it depends on the volleyball program along with like other sports programs. And I like crowds to like support and stuff. So I just, it just kind of like a team atmosphere and like a people thing. Yeah. I also like big campuses or like college towns. I like, like all of it. <laughs> so a college experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you have a major that you're 
have you narrowed down yet or are you still kind of thinking we're thinking of like business or communications but we're not sure yet okay well the good thing about that is most colleges have some form of, of business or communications or the, a large majority of them do so you're open to moving out of state yes <laughs> yes i am <laughs> okay all right well that's good um so in terms of the program, since I, I've been working with you for a while and you're so funny because it's, you're, you're not ready to narrow down your list. And, and that's completely <laughs> okay. Um, but you know, you've had a lot of variety with coaches. So let's talk a little bit about the, the style of coaching that you prefer or maybe that brings the best out in you. Um, I like coaches that always give me like feedback for like things to work on because I like feedback and I like getting better and like learning new things. So that's always like a big thing. And like, I've had a lot of coaches, so I can handle being yelled at. I can be handled like kind of easing me into it more. So I'm okay with either of those types of coaches because I like work with either of them. I respect the coaches to like I'm a level. So if they yell at me, they yell at me. Like I'll take what they're saying and just perform with it. It's yeah. not like I won't take it personally. Cause like, okay. obviously like no one like, they don't hate me or anything. They're just trying to get it through to me. So I'm totally fine with that. But I just like a lot of feedback and just coaching yeah. <laughs> type thing. Yeah. Some of the peers at Forza, I think, might say you make volleyball look easy. But I, I've known you since, what, seventh grade? And oh. it you touching, what, USA tested, tested you last summer, 10-5. That doesn't just come naturally. You put in a lot of work. So maybe let's just talk, how, what have you done to improve your jump? Um, it kind of started with um, my fit teacher, Tr Charity. Uh -huh. And I used to like <laughs> not be able to lift, not be able to do anything. And she kind of just eased me into it and like builded me up. And then after that, when she wasn't working at fours anymore, I started working with Nettie more. So I used mm -hmm. to, work with Nettie like three times a week and just working on vertical training, which I do trust her a lot because she, she like builds my vertical and she's the type of trainer that like you don't want to cheat yourself out of because like she's always so motivating and you're like, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to waste your time. So we just always get it done. And it really helped me a lot. Like, so what lifting weights? Are you jumping? What? Um, we it always like changed. So we lift weights, we do box jumps, we put bands around our thighs and do box jumps or like, it's just a variety of things. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Cool. And then I, I would say, you know, you, in fact, you helped me create some of my uh, little bingo that we made for Forza. And one of the things you put in there was, you know, check this box. If you've been in Forza for more than nine hours in one week, you you are that kid you know some of your teams have had four maybe four lessons a week but then we also do you know different specialty training at forza um what has been and i didn't tell you i was going to ask you this question but what has been your biggest challenge with um your position it has it been your front row your back row tell us a little bit about that my biggest challenge is probably be learning how to play serve receive because okay. <laughs> i did transition from being a middle so <laughs> that was a big like hurdle that I needed to get through and it's just ball control that's okay, something that I needed to work on a lot and how are you doing with it I think I'm doing well we did a lot of privates during my transition year and we've been doing a lot of privates since I've been playing volleyball and that's always something I always want to work on because mm. that's always something that's going to get harder because mm. serves are going to get harder so you need to adapt uh people's attacks are going to get harder so you always need to learn how to defend and so whenever I do privates, they're like, what do you want to work on? I'm like, serve, receive, defense, <laughs> blocking. Like, it's just always one of the things that I like to work on. Well, it's also because you want to, you know, yeah, stay in the game and you love hitting those back yeah. attacks. Yeah. Yeah. What about defense? I love defense, actually. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, it's just, I feel like you just need to be on your toes and almost, right spot at right time but you always need to run through balls you always just need to be ready to throw yourself on the floor and just go for it and that's what I like about defense is because it's always like yes I just dug that person or yes I just got this up and then you just get to continue a rally and it's just I like defense a lot yeah no, I love that um okay so if I were to ask one of your teammates describe the kind of player Emma is what would they say loud <laughs> and 
okay. competitive. Loud, how so? What do you have? What do you mean by loud? Like, I'm always calling balls. I'm always getting super excited for other people. I'm always just loud in the game, like letting people know like certain things. Like I give feedback, but not in like a rude, like not in a rude way. Yeah. So let's say like someone shakes it off and they're like, why am I doing that? I'm like, well, I saw that you like weren't making your angle fast enough or like blah, blah. And it's just, I'm not like being like too like on them all the time, but I always just like give like light feedback if I could tell they're frustrated or like if they're questioning something, I always just kind of let them know what I think. And they appreciate that because they know like it's not in a rude barking way. Yeah. So I'm always just loud. I'm always talking to people on the court, just like trying to get them all hyped up and excited. Yeah. And <laughs> loud is in that way. And, and what about off the court? Would they describe you the same way? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm very social and talkative and you know, there's probably a handful of, uh, of players that when I walk in the gym come running up, Christina, you know, of course, we <laughs> have as coaches, as directors. And uh, I think one thing I would say about you is you're very predictable and consistent. You are not moody. You're always, you just always seem like a really happy, happy person. And I think that energy spreads with your team. And yeah. I've never, I watch you play a lot of different volleyball games and I would say you elevate everyone's intensity in a really positive way because you are balls out just going for it diving everywhere and I, I really good job I, I think every team needs one or, or more of you thank um, you you're welcome so I know that uh you've played middle and you've played outside and you've even played right side do you have a favorite position or would you be willing to play any of those positions in college my favorite position is outside but I'm always open to like switching with outside and right side the reason not middle is because I'm kind of short <laughs> and so I don't think that would be the best decision but I'm oh, very open to switching between positions that's awesome and how like in the middle of a game have you ever been in a, in a situation where you you're you weren't expecting to play a different position your coach said okay you're starting here how'd you <laughs> Um, I will never forget my high school game I was playing right side and we were in rotation two they're like okay, hey, Emma, you're going to run all the way to the four. You're going to go to the four and you're going to hit line. And I'm like, God, it's a big <laughs> route to run. <laughs> but it worked. And I was like, okay, like, that was fine. I just needed to bust over there and <laughs> just give it my all, which worked. It worked. So Good. I liked it. But yeah, you had a definitely a successful <laughs> high school career. You've seen a lot of success in club. Um, you, you know, you're one of, you're the go-to hitter on your team. Um, how, when, if you notice other players maybe getting frustrating because they're not getting set as much, or, you know, can you give us an example of maybe how you've lifted up one of your other players that maybe didn't, ha, didn't receive as many recruiting calls or as many sets, just kind of in general, how do you build those up next to you? Um, I do talk to all of my teammates, like, individually, because I'm friends with all of them. So they do come to me with some of their frustrations, and I'll just let them know, like, it's nothing personal. It's just, like, in the heat of the game, like, if you're not getting that many sets, it's probably because our serve receive was off. Or if it wasn't, then it was just a heat of a go-to. Or maybe, like, our coaches are telling our setters to go to a certain hitter or just mix things up. Or if you had, like, a big block in the middle, it's just how to split the blocks. Like, if you play Coast <laughs> and Sammy Francis, all six, seven of her is in front of our middle, I'm not sure if we're going to go to our middle <laughs> type yeah. thing. Right. And so we just, like, I just kind of let them know, like, it's nothing personal. Like, you're going to get set. You're going to get your time. Like, it's just, it's just how the game goes. And with recruiting wise, I always talk to them first, just like, yeah, like, well, well, they'll be excited about one college. I'm like, that's amazing. Like, well, well, what do you like about it? And I just kind of like go into details. So they like get excited. They're like, yeah, I like this college. So they don't like think about, oh, I'm not getting talked to by this person or this person or this person. I just kind of like let them go through it and just see like why they like the college why it'd be a good fit, why they think it would be a good fit, and what are their plans there. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's awesome. You had a pretty cool opportunity last summer to play uh, with USA. You want to tell us a little bit about that? It was a lot of fun. It was very humid, but you did get used to the humidity very quickly. It was a lot of training, which was totally fine, and you met a lot of new people that I still talk to, like, every day, which is was a lot of fun, and you got – 
it was just a lot of fun because <laughs> you got your roommates that you've never met before. Like I met Zaina, who's committed to BYU, and Gabby, who's committed to Florida, and they're just amazing people. And you just you just meet a lot of people throughout your tryout too, which is a lot of fun, and it just makes you feel like more comfortable and flowy because you're like, oh, I met this person like this day. She's on my court. Hi, like, <laughs> and it's like looks good that you know people's names and you're allowed to like be like have fun on the court yeah which is also nice and I like the competition it was always fun playing new teams and they were very good so it was just like a lot of it was a good learning experience too yeah no that's awesome I I've met a lot of college coaches that were able to work with you on that and uh, really enjoyed uh, their experience with you as well um so this has been awesome and I don't want to cut it short but I is there anything that you would want a college coach to definitely know about you? I'm very competitive. <laughs> okay. I'm super competitive. And so I give it my all the time. And I feel like that's what also lifts my team up is because they can see how like all in I am and they'll be like, get as intense. And that's always like a good fun thing to watch because if it's not just me who's been competitive, it's like Anna or it's like someone else who brings the intensity and it just, flows throughout the whole team and it's just so fun to watch like our mad frog game we were all so competitive we were all so competitive we were all so happy we we're cheering the bench is cheering like everybody was just excited and happy and it was just like a good feeling because we usually don't get that mm -hmm. because we do get competitive it's just when we play higher level teams and we're the underdog in that case yeah yeah we all just give it our all and it's just really fun to play in really fun to watch like it same thing happened with the SG League game like we were we were like third seed right there with the one seed and we were all just giving it our all it was just a lot of fun to play and, and I just yeah. love it <laughs> no that's awesome you yeah I, I and what I love is that you're you really like that you just have a zest for life so uh, yeah. I I hope that when uh, college coaches watch this, they feel like they've been able to get to know Emma a little bit more. Um, you know, June 15th is going to come pretty quick, and we don't know yet whether you're going to be able to quite visit colleges at that time. Um, so making phone calls, getting on the phone, doing Zoom meetings at that point, um, and, and, you know, we'll have to just see what the rules are in place at that time. But um, yeah. are you in a rush to commit? No, <laughs> yeah. no, it's just kind of like, we're just going to wait and see and depending on camps and stuff, it just kind of depends. Yeah. I think it's I'm not looking to commit like right on June 15th. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's important to visit the schools Yeah. Um, first and then uh, just really look at your options. And I, I love that you're not in a rush. I, I, I do think, even though I don't have that narrowed down list, I think that's okay. Um, I think you'll know once you get to the school and the campus and have yeah. time talking to the coaches what's, what's going to be the, the best fit for Emma Rhodes. So I so want to thank you so much for, for taking the time today. No uh, problem. Thank you. Okay. See you in the gym soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, girl.